Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you how Flux model performs on a NVIDIA HGB VRAM GPU. For this machine, I have a NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti, which has 8GB of VRAM. You see the memory size here. And we'll be looking at how well it performs. In this machine, I have a, a, not a really high-end CPU. It's a 4600G AMD CPU. And the memory is 32 gigabytes. You do have need to have a bit uh, bigger memory. So for the installation, it uh, will be very similar to the one I did on MacBook. So please refer to that one. So it includes uh, the model, download, the comfy UI setup, the virtual environment thing. You will get up and running quickly if you can follow that one. And uh, for the workflow for comfy UI, I uploaded uh, some of them to my GitHub repo. So please go there and download it. So for example, if I'm interested in using this one, click that and uh, click the download. After it's downloaded, we can drag it onto our Comfy UI web console. All right, so let's uh, quickly start our Comfy UI. Change our directory to Comfy UI. So this is where you install the Comfy UI. And uh, you would need to activate your environment for Python. We can start it. Looks good. So we can looks good. So we can copy the URL address. Go back to our browser, and we have it. And let's start with the workflow we just downloaded. Okay. So for for today's demo, I will use the Flux One Chanel P8 formatted model. So it has a, a 16 gigabytes of size. And uh, we make sure that we choose that one now. And uh, everything else, we leave it uh, as is, except the steps, because it's a Chanel one, which means uh, fast. So we only need uh, four steps. And uh, then you can be welcomed to enter your awesome prompt. OK, so I basically use a very simple prompt and uh, make sure that everything else looks good. The the width and the height, 1024, 1024. And uh, randomize, we use it to increment. And uh, then we can kill the prompt or press Control and Enter for the shortcut. All right, so as you can see here, we started uh, the workflow. It will need to download uh, some files if we uh, find it missing. But uh, most likely, you don't need to, but you need to load uh, the model into memory. So as you can see, I have uh, 32 gigabytes of, of memory, but it's almost uh, completely filled. We also look at go to our GPU, change it to CUDA, and we see that the GPU memory has went up and down and up again. Meanwhile, the memory got reduced. So basically, it transferred from system memory to the GPU memory. So it's, it's now looking at it at 7.4 out of 8 gigabytes of RAM. And we see that from our progress bar on the terminal, we do see that uh, total is uh, four steps. For one iteration, it took about 14.4 seconds. So basically, under one minute, it will able to generate the image. And we see our CUDA. I think there's some, all right, we do see that uh, it took uh, 40, 57 seconds. It took uh, 57 seconds to generate the, the image. And it looks quite nice. We see that uh, the, the words uh, look exactly as I mentioned on my prompt. And uh, we do see that it followed the prompt very well. We do see the quality is very, very highly detailed, we enlarge it. So it's, so it's basically a 10024 size image and it looks quite nice. Okay, so for conclusion, I think HGB VRAM card performs uh, quite well. 
So if you have a HGB card or consider buying one, I think it is a great card. Thanks very much. Please subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye bye.